Well, that's the call that you never want to get. I'm COVID positive. This really sucks. It really, really sucks. Hey guys, welcome back. We've spent the last three days navigating the Drake Passage and some really rough seas. A lot of that time has been spent in this room, learning about wildlife and activities and all of our adventures to come. We would have never guessed that this was about to happen. So we had the doctor come up. I've been having some drainage and check me out and everything. And we just did a COVID test just to be safe. And he called just a moment ago and said, I'm COVID positive. I'm really sad about the fact that Brad has COVID. And I don't know whether I do or don't. I really don't know what this means for the next few days for us because we don't have that many days here. Okay, thank you. Bye. I just got off the phone with the doctor and he didn't want to give us a lot of clarification uh, when he was here just because there's some things that have changed. Keep your mask on. <laughs> There's some things that have changed um, as far as guidelines for COVID and what we're all supposed to do. So um, the good news, first and foremost, is you are free to... Roll about the cabin? <laughs> <laughs> you, you are free to move and go as, as you see fit. Okay. The one caveat is you have to eat all your meals in your room. Okay. So I would assume, he never said you have to always wear an M95, but I would imagine that's probably part of it. Okay. The, the way that the current guidelines read is five days of isolation from first symptoms. Oh, from first symptoms? From first symptoms. Yay! So you have two I have days. two days. Yay! <laughs> okay, that makes me very happy. Me too. I'm what? stuck in this room for two days at the very best. Could be for the next five days. Why is that important? If it's just the two days, then there is a possibility Brad is able to participate in a majority of the activities. Now, if he's not allowed to do any exit of quarantine, there's nothing. He's come to Antarctica to, to look view up. it <laughs> from the boat. To view that. All right, despite the fact that we're having a COVID New Year. We are coming up on literally the most exciting portion of the trip. And that is land. Way right out here, you can see some land. We'll be passing that tonight. And we're so thrilled to finally be getting to Antarctica. And uh, see you on the outer deck. The most beautiful views today. Welcome to the South Shetland Islands. Just trying to get everything Nicole's gonna need because I'm leaving her for isolation. So today is the 31st and Brad will be in isolation starting at 645 and then his isolation will be over on the morning of January 3rd. So we don't even get to spend New Year's Eve together. Yeah. Yay. Boo. So you have everything you need? Ish. Okay. I don't get to take my lovely wife. This really sucks. It really, really sucks. I know Brad will kind of discuss the reasonings of why this is a good thing uh, that we are making this decision. Um, it doesn't make it suck any less, but um, yeah, I think being alone on New Year's uh, really stinks, honestly. <laughs> but Brad's calling, so. I told you 
at the end of the hallway there was another table uh, uh, somebody else's room <laughs> that's your room <laughs> so we're not completely just like unable to talk thankfully we can call each other's state rooms which is great and we just got our dinner menus <laughs> Why is he calling back? <laughs> you just hung up. <laughs> what do you need? Yeah, you just said that. Okay. Okay, I love you. Come on. Being that it's New Year's, um, they are having a New Year's party, so I'll probably run up there for a little bit and just kind of hang out. Um, Anyway, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for dinner so Brad and I can eat together. Okay, well, I'm in my new home for the next three days. Um, already missing Nicole. This is really gonna suck. Today is New Year's Eve and um, they're having a big gala dinner and I'll get the benefits of the food and stuff but there's a big party and a whole hoopla. To make it even worse, I'm not sick. I've got a runny nose. The fortunate part of it is I'm released on the 3rd in the morning, so I'll be able to participate in the adventures of the day, but I'll miss out on a fair amount of Zodiac and probably helicopter. And I guess my hope is, is that they'll be able to do like an advanced or push me through a bunch of stuff and maybe Nicole gets to do it twice. Um, but that's the biggest advantage is Nicole is, instead of being stuck in the room with me, quarantining until the third and possibly getting sick, um, she gets to be a regular passenger, but she has to wear a mask and eat her meals in her room. So, uh, kind of a crappy caveat, but at the same time, could be worse really could be worse because look this is the room they gave me first quarantine dinner solo and uh, I only asked for a glass of wine but they sent a full bottle and Brad was so cute, he called the front desk to ask if we could have, um, I think a glass of champagne or something delivered before midnight. Rocket. Yeah? Yeah. So this is our, a fun uh, New Year's Eve quarantine dinner. <laughs> so. I'm gonna go by my lonesome. There is 30 minutes till midnight, but I wanted to stop by his room and uh, show him my outfit, so. Oh, hello. <laughs> Shimmery, shiny. I was about to call you. Were you? Yeah. Do I look like a disco ball? You do. Disco lady. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they have a disco ball down there, but if not. You do now. I am. You are. Oh, I appreciate you sanitizing it. Take the head of it, there. I'll see you in 23 minutes. You gonna call me? No, I'm literally gonna come back up here at 12 o'clock. Oh, that's sweet. We have 10 seconds left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It's only 12.01. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. Cyclones. Somebody just fall down the stairs? Someone just either dropped their phone or fell down the stairs. Oh, Jesus. Which has really kept me from crying, so. <laughs> I love you. I love you, baby.
Good, Good morning, morning from and my to COVID room in Antarctica. To start today's activities, which possibly, depending on the weather and how it holds out, could include helicopters, Zodiac Taurus, uh, landing, but unfortunately, COVID Bradley does not get to do any of that. So, I will be hanging out here in the room, but I'm not left with nothing. Check out this view. I'm like running around because they've called me. Um, we are about to go down to hop on a Zodiac to do a continental landing. And by we, I mean me and the rest of the shipmates. Unfortunately, not Brad, but I'm panicking. I'm like grabbing. I'm like, oh my God, I don't know what to do with all this stuff. I'm in a rush. Let's go. All right, we're getting on. I'm gonna let you guys go before I board this thing because it uh, could be a little slippery. Uh, sit on down and slide all the way to the bottom. Yeah. There you go. Yes. Hey, guys. You made it. You're on. That ball has the water. Stay on. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right, so you step to the box. Take a step to your right and sit on down, okay? All right. Thanks, guys. Yeehaw. Let's get it. Let's do it. Thank you. Off we go. All right, so I'm going to move over here, and then we're just going to do a quick safety briefing. Just going to get through the helicopters. <laughs> <laughs> Antarctic continent and you have made it. It is the uh, the frozen continent. Is this anyone's number seven? Oh, Woo! Wow. So many of well done. So folks, a few cool things today. Firstly, there's a great view on top of the dome. Secondly, there's a beautiful Weddell seal to see. And also the opportunity to just welcome in 2023 uh, in a nice peaceful place. And so welcome to Antarctica. In here. Oh yeah, and I said I was going to do like a COVID checkup, so how I'm feeling each day. Um, currently, my, the scratch in my throat's gotten a little worse. Um, I think that's because of all the drainage, like swallowing snot. Um, the stuffiness is still the same, and I still feel fun. This thing we're gonna see is this Weddell seal right here. Freaking adorable. Can't believe that this is the first thing that we see. I'm really sad Brad's not here. Regardless of the smile on my face. most unfortunate thing happened. The camera is not alive, so that's what we got. But so our first seal, we're gonna go do our cheesy photo op over here. They brought out a Antarctica flag and uh, it really sucks where I can't be here for this. But after that, we're gonna go up there and it's a lot hotter than I anticipated in this this jacket. I've got three layers on, but uh, if Brad were here, this would go right into his face. But uh, really icy. More than anything, just ice. Well, I'm just chilling in the snow right now. I'm just taking it in, watching everyone kayak out there and 
paddleboard. There's been a few seals. But... And we are just passing by the Weddell seal again. Look how cute he is. What you really see of the ice is only about a tenth of what the actual size of this iceberg is. So just want to recap kind of this morning's activities. It was a lot of fun. It is so bright out, just unbelievably bright out here. Um, really enjoyed kind of just hanging out on Antarctica and just kind of taking it all in. And even though the camera died, um, it really just allowed me to just be in this place and I really wish Brad could have experienced that with me but apparently he got a ton of good photos and stuff of us kind of exiting the ship and um, apparently he was being mocked by some penguins earlier so um, yeah I think we're kind of just getting two different experiences here which is quite interesting and not necessarily bad um, even though we are separated there's still um, there's still a lot to share because it's there's so many things happening between what I'm doing out off the boat and what's happening kind of on the boat, like background stuff. Listen to this penguin. Penguin is so cute. Oh, he's so adorable. <laughs> That's the thing, though, is like, again, fleeting moments is these things happen so quickly, so you really just have to kind of experience, um, experience the moment as it comes. As we were coming back in, you guys saw the humpback whale, which was completely unexpected. That's the only whale we've seen today. And the girl uh, who was sitting next to me, Katie, hadn't seen a whale yet. So it was so amazing for her to get to experience that. And we got to see the, the whale tail. Um, just, I, I can't keep saying this enough. It's just how amazing this place truly is. I guess it's time for my crybaby confessional. Yes, I am positive for COVID for COVID, um, otherwise completely healthy. Um, but it's frustrating as hell, because I look out this window and I see Antarctica. And even from this balcony, there's a million things to look at and to video and to you know, bring home back to you guys and for myself but it frustrates the hell out of me that I can't go out there. A little less than a quarter day left, uh, which is still an eternity when you have that out there. That doesn't help the FOMO that I'm feeling. Um, fear of missing out if you're not hip like I am. I'm right here where they're loading and unloading people I'm seeing every last person get off the ship and uh, are you excited? Yeah, and I'm happy for everybody. It's so great. Uh, we're in Antarctica. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Um, just not me. It frustrates me that, you know, even in that moment you hear somebody say, yeah, and then they cough their brains out. I feel like that old saying, um, no good deed goes unpunished, is applying heavily at the moment. I know I did the right thing. I don't take it back. Um, 
But man, is it hard to listen to everybody cheer and scream and have a great time and come back with big smiles. For weeks we've been practicing polar plunging, um, a couple of months almost now. Um, and lo and behold, guess what happens today, this afternoon? They're about to do it here in the next 45 minutes. Polar punch. And, you know, do I want Nicole not to do it because I don't get to do it? No, don't be silly. But do I feel bad that I don't get to do it, that I don't get to be a part of that experience and actually do the polar plunge that we've been talking about for months? I know, it sounds titty and it sounds babyish and quit sulking, you little B word. Just sucks, guys. So I thought I'd come on and, and cry a little bit, and who knows if this will actually make it in the video, but uh, if it does and you would feel the same pain, give us that thumbs up. Let me know. All right, that's enough of that shit. It does f suck. And it was awesome. Like, didn't even phase me. Our practice is 100% worth it. I love it. I'm so, so proud I missed this, but it wasn't any different than the pool. <laughs> Honestly, it really was no different than jumping in our pool the day before, day before Christmas and on Christmas Day. So, see you. We are about to have a dinner date. But I wanted to talk to you guys about the day and how amazing of an experience this was. Seeing all these things was truly so great, as well as doing the polar plunge. But I also really, really, truly missed Brad. And I feel so awful that he had to miss out on some of these amazing things. But I know that in just a few days' time, he'll be able to escape this is the result of today. It's been a very fun day. All right, so welcome to our dinner date. Brad is currently filming the iceberg outside, which is absolutely stunning. This is about the quality of video that we usually get with each other. But that's what I'm videoing. It looks great on this end, but make sure that you insert the video footage here. Dinner date is now beginning, and this is my bottle of wine from last night, and I still have a whole bottle of champagne. But I'm going to go ahead and get started eating because somebody wants to just continue filming the iceberg. Oh, that's dessert. Let's close that back up. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. We're done complaining and crying about having COVID in Antarctica. Yes, there's still one more day of isolation, but we're just going to skip right over that. Uh, come back next week as I'm released and just in time for Penguin Day. Breaking news. Tell me what you got. I just heard from Dr. Mike. We are scheduled for 7.20 in the morning. He's going to come by and give me some paperwork, and I'll be out of here in time for the beginning of breakfast. Yay! <laughs>